What's going on, all you horror movie maniacs out there? You it's your boy. Maniacs. With, you know who this motherfucker is. OGP. OGP. That's right. Fast yeah. Samurai guy, Working OGP. On the big belly. I think I got you beat. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going one day fluff status, but I'm not there yet. But I'm working on it. We're working on it. And speaking of working on it, we have fun watching this movie. Yes. I've been wanting to see. Razorback 1984 uh, for a long time now because yeah. it never was released here on DVD in the States. Ne there's still no official Blu-ray release here in the States. Great. And we just put on the shutter. Yeah. Non-sponsored. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Sure. And we're like, holy shit, Razorback! Because we wanted to get together and watch some horror movies tonight. Yes, talk about that was it. the plan. Yeah. We got the, we got the Doritos, non-sponsored. Red Vines, non-sponsored. And Shock Tom, not sponsored. They can start throwing money. <laughs> yeah, you know. By all means, that's but right. We're yeah. just not there yet. Yeah. So we got done uh, just now uh, watching Razorback, nineteen eighty four, yes, and it was a lot of fun. It was entertaining. Probably one of the best B movies we've seen in a long time. Agreed. Yes. Uh, directed by. Yeah, I don't know how you say his name again. Russell Mc Russell McKay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry if I. Well. Did that wrong. Even if you said it... Oh, look, I got some spooge on my glasses. <laughs> Even if you said it wrong, it's yeah. okay because there can only be one. There you go. That's right. <laughs> one director. That's right. Director of Highlander. And uh, I did not know he did this. Uh, but give us a yeah. brief plot synopsis for everybody okay. uh, watching. So uh, referencing good old IMDb here, as a vicious wild boar terrorizes the Australian outback mate, I, I added mate, Fosters. <laughs> yeah. The husband of one of the victims is joined by a hunter and a farmer in his search for the beast. That's right. That's right. It's uh, man it's man against beast as two men hunt a wild razorback boar that has been terrorizing a small isolated town deep in the outback, killing kangaroos and people. Oh, I didn't have all that. You guys right in front of yeah, us. <laughs> Like my, I got the little abbreviated hey. bullshit. Like we don't have. I was going like, man, they didn't even it's, mention it's the fact that they shock were, tops taking over. That they were Canadians, a. Eh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were Canadians, a. Eh? Out in the outback, mate. Um, All right. So thoughts on uh, Razorback, man. What did you like? What you didn't like on it? Um, okay, so I thought it was very entertaining, action packed all the way through. Just yeah. not a dull moment. Yeah. Um. It. it you know. I was kind of. I was really caught off guard at the beginning of the movie, how, uh, of, of the movie, of yeah. the movie, how fast paced it was. Yeah, it was just boom, boom, boom. But yet they still told a story. Yes. it wasn't just chaos. Right. So I enjoyed that. I uh, really enjoyed uh, all the the colors, the you know the bright um, cinematography, the different colors, really cinematography. good for '84. Yeah, figuring this wasn't on a level of a Star Trek of. Uh, Aliens right. of something of that budget it wasn't right. Back to the Future budget, so something like that. Um, it, it, it was very well uh, shot. Yeah, um, I like the lighting a lot. I love the locations, the effects. The There's a lot about yeah. this film to like, and, and it's almost like with a uh, you know, like you were mentioning earlier, how sometimes this movie makes you feel like you're on another planet. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're just like, weird. whoa, man. Like, it's very trippy, it, you it know. Is, it is definitely uh, like a, maybe like an alternate dimension kind of feel <laughs> to it. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and, and I mean, shit, there's a lot of movies that I would say, if you like that, you'll like this. But right. the number one is if you like Mad Max, yeah. you're going to like this. Because <laughs> this... It, it definitely has a lot of that kind of feel, yeah. and it's it just a crazy, yeah. fast-paced Australian outback. Yeah, you know, a lot of fun uh, douchebag and colorful characters. Everybody needed a shower, just like you I know. Think, I, mean, I feel like I need a shower now after <laughs> yeah. watching this. Yeah, yeah, a lot uh, of crawling in the mud, and yeah, but, but very good characters. And I think when they wrote the film, yeah. they really paid attention to. Giving each character um, a personality mm -hmm. rather than just some fuck on the screen delivering lines. Each character had their really distinct personality. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, know, yeah. So they were I good with characters. I say fuck it and we go into spoilers. Um, 
I, did I spoil anything already yet? No. I don't think so. Okay, No, good. I was just like... Yeah. Because um, no, I want to no. talk about some of the scenes we really liked. Definitely, so. definitely do. Fuck it. Yeah, I think it's only been out since 1984. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've had damn near 30 years, so... Uh, but, you know, but this would be a good point, I mean, where you could just be like, hey, check it out. We're a couple minutes into this review here. You want to stop, watch the movie, come back, finish the review. You can do that as well. But yeah, I think I think definitely yeah. we have to get in spoilers. Yeah, on this. let's do spoilers. Because there there are some things that uh, in order to talk about, yeah, you, you have to give away something. So we have uh, the female lead in this, Beth, the character of Beth. Uh, she comes out to visit the Australian outback, yes. and I won't stop doing that right now. No, <laughs> anytime you're talking about some Australian. I'm going to botch it. It's going to come out, especially, and they threw us the biggest fucking bone in the world yeah. when that motherfucker was holding that can of Foster's. <laughs> I'm all talking in a fucking Boston. Yeah. Right? He's, like, he's holding fucking Boston. He's your cousin from Boston. <laughs> I can't do a fucking Australian accent. It's all good. It's this all guy, good. Foster's. Now I'm fucking like my Arnold Schwarzenegger accent. Whatever. It's Australian for me. Woo! Yeah. We're partying. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Well, she's, so, you know, she's like an, an uh, animal rights, activist, the whole activist person, humanitarian, yeah. all that. So she comes over here to investigate a lot of the killings of the animals and blah, blah, blah. And um, it does not go well for her. No. And, no uh, but no. before that, we had a great opening. Yeah. Where the grandpa was taking care of his grandkid and fucking Razorback just showed up and just destroyed right the house. Right through the fucking house. Right through the house. Right through the house, grabbed the baby, had a snack, yeah. and then kept going. Yeah. Like, it was crazy, and man. Th the sequence was just boom, 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 boom. 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 You would expect a lot of uh, filmmakers would want to build up some drama, give us yeah. some time to think about it, boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, get there. This is, no, fuck your mother. Here comes this gigantic beast that knocks down half the fucking house. Yeah. And so you really get the impression, you understand the power and, yeah. you know, how deadly this beast is right at the fucking you know, opening scene of the film. Yeah. You know, right off the bat. And so ever since then, you know, many years, you know, the grandfathers had that vendetta, you know, always going out hunting Razorbacks, but trying to find the main Razorback, obviously. Yes. Yeah. And and what was the line? Of, the best line in the movie is when oh. Beth, you know, she's got the camera crew and all that, and she's asking him questions, and she asks him, so why do you go out and hunt hunt? The boar. Why do you go out there and hunt razorbacks all the time? What? Yeah, what and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna botch yeah. it, but he said something like, he said, "Well, you know, taking a taking my shotgun to the to a razorback's head and blowing it up makes me feel good inside." It was something, yeah, it was something like something that. Long, yeah. I botched it. It's I know. Like, I basically, botched it. like, like it, yeah. it's like, yeah, putting a slug in one of these fucking yeah. things makes his day. Yeah, you know, it was thing. great. His his great comment line. was really funny. Great yeah. line. Yeah, it was very. Uh, but the movie kind of kind of swerves us because uh, the town doesn't really like her snooping around. Yeah. And these two douchebags that work at the pig factory, they kind of, you know, she, she, she goes to spy on them. They don't like that. They go after her, and they're like, you know, yeah. going to try to do the deed on yeah, her. Yeah, they're killy, rapey fuckers. Yeah, yeah, and we thought that they, they were going to do the deed... And then Razorback was going to kill them. But the movie swerves you. Yes, it does. The Razorback does. shows up. Yeah. They run away. They, they don't die. Yeah. And then she gets in the car to drive away, and Ra Razorback kills her. We were like, whoa. Yes, yeah. You, you really get caught off guard because typically at that point, you're looking at this woman who you feel is the lead. Yeah. You're watching a story about her and this beast. And then she gets fucking whacked. Like, you yeah. know... In the first act, yeah. you know, so it's like, what the fuck is going on? How is this happening? And then these two jack wagon assholes get to ride <laughs> off and and go fuck somebody else's life over. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I was not. Yeah, that, yeah, that surprised us. Yes, we were like, did. whoa, the lead yeah. just died. Yes. Now, there was another thing. I think it did it happen. It happened right in that scene. And they never followed up on it. One of the big loopholes or problems with this movie, which there wasn't many. Right. There wasn't many, but there was a couple little continuity things. But this one, right when Razorback came, was coming, and those guys were like, we got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. 
the one dude, remember he got the Terminator eyes all of a sudden. His yeah, fucking that was eyes strange. lit up. <laughs> <laughs> like he was a fucking robot. His eyes fucking light up. Like he's like, you know, fucking. It's like when you shine the lights on cat's eyes and, yeah, they're, yeah. and they're light up. Yeah. Well, he turns around and the, 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 the lights of the vehicle, of his buddy's vehicle, shines on him. And he looks like he's a fucking robot. It's very, yeah. It was very strange. It was. It was it, yeah. It was. They, they wanted that shot. They intended yeah. to have that shot. Yeah. So um, was it's, it supposed to be uh, him, you know, <laughs> having, you know, seeing blood in his eyes or was it him was it foreshadowing was it what was it i don't know i don't know we never yeah. got an answer no we never got we an never went back to that so no. i mean it is what it is it's kind of yeah. funny made us go huh yeah but it is what which it leads is. to the again the otherworldly feel yeah of the movie it's very yeah. strange yeah uh but yeah she dies and now her she her died. husband shows up and and did pr pretty much does one of the worst investigation attempts yeah. ever yeah there was a couple <laughs> other worse. questions with his investigation like, what are you doing yeah yeah so um and i never i don't know if he ever got a suitcase back <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, i don't think he did so he shows up yeah. in town and he's got a suitcase and he's like hey where can i get a cab and the and the the, the pub owner guy kind of laughs at him like what the, you yeah. fucking see where you are yeah. you're in the middle of a fucking outback you ain't getting a cab out here yeah. So the, the pub owner's like, here, you know, just take my car. Like, I've never fucking met you. You b live in a different continent. But here, take my car, whatever. So, but it's that kind of community where you figure, like, if he tried to steal it, he would probably wind up dead anyways. Right. So I think. But, so anyways, it's like, take the car. So he takes a car, and he's now going to find his wife. He's in search, which right. supposedly there was a rumor she fell down some hole. A mine. A mine shaft, mine shaft yeah. And uh, so he's out there. So he meets the guys, the two douchebags, and doesn't yeah. know that they right. were trying to kill his wife. Right. And um, um, I'm gonna let you take it over here because because I uh, just had a colossal brain fart. I was going somewhere with that. Well, he, he, then, he's he's going out there to basically because they 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 hunt themselves because yeah. they have the pig factory, and then they just end up <laughs> end up ditching him out there. Yeah, but the, what they. they he he drove up in the car. Then yeah. they made him get in their vehicle. Right. Drove out to their cave place where right. they live. Yeah. Which was really cool. Another cool set. Um, you know, kind of that kind of gave me like in in that room there gave me like a um a like a uh, uh, Lost Boys kind of vibe yeah, a bit, yeah. in down in there kind yeah. of creepy dirty mm -hmm. place. But yeah. um, but anyways. Then they take him out. They're going to go hunting. It's like, okay, we're going to get up later and go hunting. Well, they yeah. get him in the middle of the fucking night. Yeah. They take him out. And they leave him. But he doesn't put up a fight. No. So we thought he was supposed like, to go hunting was with that, them. Yeah, is that, was that part of the plan so, was to go with them or, or, or be dropped off? Yeah. The movie didn't really make that clear. So I'm wondering, so. was there... Um, in the final cut of the film, did they edit something out for time? I'm not sure. Or was it just a continuity issue with writing? Right. Or what, what was the deal? But um, anyways, it, 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 he was in search of his wife. He was looking mm. for his wife. So we got the right. point. You understood. You weren't sitting there confused, but it was like, wait a minute, what is kind of, how'd that happen? Yeah. So. So he, he runs into, he, he almost gets eaten by uh, some, some piggy, piggy, piggies. He almost kills himself several times. Yeah, this guy uh, can't fucking run ten <laughs> feet without falling down. So, um, gotta uh, have the drama. Yeah, so he ends up uh, coming across the grandfather uh, who has the beef with the Razorback. Yeah. He comes across his estate and is is really cute. Uh, yeah. Was she related to him, or was she was just helping out? I, I think no, she was just helping out because she were she said uh, at one point she said she talked about how. His grandkid was killed by Razor. Right, I think back. she was just there helping. She him referred out. to him like as a non and his daughter left member. him. Yeah, so right. I don't think I think yeah. yeah, she was just. She was cute though. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Get some eye candy there. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <coughs> he rolls up to the estate there. There's. Yeah. Well, we wanted more eye candy. Yeah. In, in, in this type Only of because, film, it, yeah, in a exploitation movie. If they're going to go there, yeah. they usually commit to it. Yeah. And this one, they didn't commit to it. They just committed to it. <laughs> it was a little, you got, you got a little tease, yeah, but then yeah. they're like, okay, you got a nipple. Let's move on. 
get a little Moving bit, on. get a little bit of the bloops, the, the three the, second bloopage. The guys then, married, you know. We're gonna do it. We're gonna kill babies. We're gonna kill old people. We're gonna have beasts ruining the world. But I'll be damned if this guy is gonna have sex with this other girl when he doesn't know where his wife is. <laughs> we're not going there. So you know, so but, uh, a, uh, it's all good. crazy horror action yeah. movie with morals. With, <laughs> Razorback. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Uh, he ends up finding out that his wife is truly dead. Yeah. Uh, they find her, the grandfather finds her, her ring. And Razorback shit out the ring. Pretty man. much. <laughs> big puddle of shit that the grandpa was digging through. But we had some, uh, I think the, I think our, our main pet peeve with the movie, even though we really liked it, was we wanted more Razorback. We wanted yeah. more death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, um, and the, the one comment when I made, I'm like, "Fuck, we need more Razorback," and then boom, they cut. Yeah. To, and the funny thing was, there, this guy had nothing to do with the fucking story <laughs> of the movie at all. It was some <laughs> random fucking guy, <laughs> yeah. some random bloke sitting in his fucking house with a can of Fosters. This might be my favorite watching part of the movie, TV. Actually. Oh no, it probably was. It was definitely up there. He's sitting there Had watching Fosters. TV, got a Fosters in his hand, and fucking Razorback comes up. Starts demolishing his house, and he's like, got caught up in this uh, trap chain kind of thing, yeah. and bolts, and the fucking Razorback bolts, and rips off half of this fucking guy's house, and this house is like just being dragged across the fucking the the desert floor here. Oh, is it, yeah, and he's just sitting here frozen, like, <laughs> is this fucking happening right now? Is this like, is this really fucking happening? You know, and it's funny because the house is like. A couple hundred feet away, and the TV's still on, and that yeah, part of the house he's still sitting away. there, watching and TV. he's in the other part. So it was a fucking was hysterical great. scene. But that Which guy, more. I'm glad they put it in, but yeah. it didn't add anything to the story except it gave us more razor back. Yeah, which we so, wanted. Yeah, uh, no, and and um, you know something else we talked about was th- that the at the end of the film. There's a, a problem. I guess maybe we can talk about the rest of the story before we get there. But but um, we kind of wondered why there wasn't more razor back, mm-hmm. and I think that led up to the fact that as um, the the, the far, granddaughter oh, okay. chick that wasn't really the granddaughter when she was <laughs> looking for help, all these guys in the pub they didn't they didn't want their beer to get warm. So you know was they like tried to help her once. Right. But they weren't going to go a second time. And I think it's it kind of played into the fact that Razorback never really fucked with the locals. Maybe he was just fucking with the tourists or the babies or, or whatever. I don't know if there was... He was a selective a reason. Yeah, Razorback. Yeah. He, wanted, he wanted tourists and babies. That's it. That's it. So. <laughs> and leftovers. That's but anyways, fun. I kind of jumped ahead and sort oh, of missed fine. out a, a portion of that there. But, no, I mean, I mean um, there's not that much before it. It's just he... He gets, you know, the, 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 the granddad, basically, they, you know, they nurse uh, Dave, Dave Gutenberg yeah. uh, back to life. <laughs> it looks like Steve Gutenberg's <laughs> brother. Yeah. Uh, not back to life, but they, you know, heal him and all that, because he was kind of fucked up when he got there. And so once he gets the ring, he's like, oh, man, she's dead, and I guess I can go back home. And then, you know, the, the chase begins. It doesn't go well for the grandfather. He dies. Yeah. The dog. They killed the dog. Those man. two pricks. The pricks that we wanted dead. They, yeah. They, they needed. Back. They needed better deaths. I'm glad they died, but I wanted you know. Yeah. Get heads ripped off. Well, or yeah. The, ailment. Yeah. So the the one guy, he's, you know, he shows up. Well, there, there's like a, there's an action sequence. Yeah. Once so. He's the, the the guy, the Dave Gutenberg guy that we fictitiously, yeah, yeah. you know, created that name for. He's going home back to Canada, but they yeah. they say, "Oh no, can't you know? That's you're American, you know, whatever." It's, it's kind of funny Australians play that, but um, so he's on the way back to America. So the farmer's daughter chick is dropping him off at that's the bus stop yeah. in the middle of fucking like take me out to the middle of Mojave Desert and <laughs> drop me off in some cornhole, whatever fucking. <laughs> she's leaving him there. I guess at some point there's a bus going to come by. Yeah. She goes to leave. She's driving off. She sees the dog that the two fuckwads ran over. The guys we wanted dead. They ran over the the grandfather's dog. Bastards. Just to be dicks because they were yeah. dicks. Yeah. And so she comes back to the bus stop 
the farmer daughter girl comes back to the bus stop and gets the Dave Gutenberg character guy. And, you know, and then it's like, okay, we got to go fucking kill these guys. Yeah. They kill the dog and the dog's dead. We obviously know something's wrong with grandpa. So we got to right. go. Yeah. So then they take off and the girl goes on her own somewhere, maybe to look for grandpa. Yeah. Well, this guy's like, I'm going to go kill these fuck wads. Yeah. So he takes his truck and drives it right into their fucking little hideout place. He becomes a, a very poor vigilante. But he yeah. kind of gets the job done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, a little backwards luck kind of helps yeah. him out. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so, but anyway, so he's there trying to kill him. He's got the gun. The other guy doesn't, but, you know, he still falls down, looks like a dickwad. Yeah. And, but then when the bad guy comes up, bad guy, dumbass, falls down a fucking hole. And so, uh, but then he's holding on to this chain. And then so Dave Gutenberg. Decide they're gonna think the guy's name's Dave Gutenberg. <laughs> He's really not. He just kind of looks like even maybe Steve Gutenberg's cousin or something. A little, you know, bit. But um, but anyways, the the main guy. Yeah. He fucking. There's like um a tractor or what do you what, what do you what do you what would you call like it? A crane that a lowers crane, yeah, something. That lowers something down in this hole. Yeah. So he just releases it and lets and it's it, you hear the, the wire go. Yeah, 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 Fucking yeah. spinning down, yeah. but we don't even get a good thunk, we need a good splash, crush, splash, a splash. anything. Yeah. We just he went down yeah. in the hole, and yeah. so it would have been uh, better if he got like you know, yeah. Razorback would have fucking you know, yeah. rammed him right through his heart or yeah. something like that, or yeah. blood guts, whatever. Yeah. Give us some, <clears throat> give us Peter Griffin at the bottom of the steps, <laughs> you know, whatever, something. Oh. <laughs> We made it. We we did. We made it. It was a rough one, uh, but we sat down and we watched a porno. We watched a porno. Yeah, and I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Then you go to church, get some redemption in my life. I feel but, dirty. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> but uh, yeah, so um, this was on Shutter, right? This so Shutter. Okay. We just got done watching porno. Came out last year. Um, Directed by Who Cares, starring Who Gives a Fuck. Yeah. And uh, what is the uh, plot synopsis? So, uh, it says, When five teen employees at the local movie theater in a small Christian town discover a mysterious old film hidden in its basement, they unleash an alluring succubus who gives them a sex education written in blood. No, not really. <laughs> no, she there's uh. no education. <laughs> Oh, man. So, there's no sex. It's called porno. There's yeah, no sex. Yeah, there's... <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> oh, God. Well, yikes. Just in case you want to know, we're going to talk spoilers. Oh, it's going to be motherfucking spoilers. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Oh. So, it's... it's. Now, I see some people watching this movie going, it wasn't that bad. It was kind of fun. We were not. We we are not that kind of people. But I can see people watching this and not really thinking it's as bad as we we are thinking it. But the problem is, these are the worst type of horror movies. Yeah. The horror movies that are not so bad to where you can laugh at them in a way and find some entertainment. Not so bad. Yes. It's yes. it's good. Yes. But when they're in that mid-range of generic, forgettable, bland, yeah. that is the worst yeah. uh, horror horror movie. Yeah. And I mean, so, I mean, as far as cinematography, you know, it was in focus. Yeah. It, it was yeah. fairly well lit. There were some parts that were a little dark, um, but I, they were going for something with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... Uh, you know, the sound was on. Production value was fine. You yeah. didn't watch it and go like, oh man, this fucking guy behind the camera doesn't yeah. know what the fuck he's doing. It doesn't look like so, a shot on shitty old movie. Yes. Right. So there's that. But they went out and they filmed this thing. And the, the funny thing is on IMDb, they do not list the editor of this film. So I believe that the director probably edited this film and could not get away from like, the, oh, it's such a beautiful shot. I'm going to leave it in there. And they did that like 135 times. And so you have all these really long fucking shots that are really drawn out. And it's like, there's a shot where the group, they discover something. And it's like, oh, 
Okay, well, yeah. now we know what we got to do. We're going to stand here and think about it for a minute. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then we're yeah. going to talk about it some more. Yeah. And think about yeah. it. Then we're going to go do it. It's like, get to the fucking point. Yeah. Cut. Go on to the next shot. Yes. Move on to the next scene. Get this fucking thing Mo going. Move on is the two key words here. This was an hour and 39 minutes. No joke. This could have been a, either a short or yeah. it could have been less than an hour long. There was so much fucking filler. Yeah. Like, whoever edited this, um, they took their name off IMDb because they were embarrassed. Whoever edited it, shame on you. Or if they, if you were forced to edit it this way, shame on the person that made you edit it this way. You had something here. This could have been a fun little horror comedy. Yes. Now, you know. to your point, uh, we didn't, we didn't know, were we supposed to laugh at this? Right. Was it supposed to scare us? Yeah. There was some really shitty jump scares that, yeah. you know, wouldn't have scared, you know, my dog. Yeah. But it, 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 we didn't know. There was there was moments where we're laughing our ass off at some, which happened like three times. And then, like, <laughs> just a second later, it's like, yeah. oh, the end of the fucking world. We're so sad. Oh, yeah, that was, the, that was the issue I had and with the movie. Was you just the, don't what, know what it is. What tone are we going for? Like, you got a guy whose nuts got blown off, and it's kind of a scene where it's supposed to be funny where <laughs> the other guy is wrapping it up with a shoelace, trying to, trying to salvage... But, yeah. you know, his, but, but his the penis same, is yeah. in the way. So he has to grab the guy's penis. And yeah. you actually see this one guy manhandle <laughs> another guy's dick to yeah, get it right. out of the way right, right, to wrap right. a shoelace around his blown up balls. <laughs> right. And but then, but then while that's going yet on. It's kind of funny. So you're yeah. thinking, oh, this is, you know. And then, like, oh, no, we're so sad. Yeah, it's like, just like now we have dramatic scenes with the other characters while that's going yeah. on and he's like he's my best friend i don't want to leave him out there he needs us we gotta go find todd and i'm yeah. just like dude is this movie supposed to be funny or what man i gotta go find todd and then but i'm gonna stand here for 15 <laughs> fucking minutes before i do that <laughs> and then we, when we finally get around to doing that we're not gonna run we're just gonna walk yeah. slowly to yeah. the next room and, the, and, and then it, and then talk for another fifteen minutes. When they do find Todd, which there was like two Todds, but when they found the one Todd who was tied up, yeah, you're thinking like, okay, like this is maybe we're supposed to be getting into the intense, funny part, and then like no, the 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 creepy old guy who was in the theater who was out for revenge against this yeah. succubus that trapped him in the theater, cut off his dick, whatever. <laughs> He was trying Way to resurrect to, the... They, all they did the was cut people's dicks off, rip people's dicks off, or talk about cutting people's dicks off. That's it. That was the only <laughs> violence in this movie. So but so the old guy is like, now, for whatever reason, <clears throat> Todd is tied up in this thing, so we're going to cut Todd. We're gonna, we got a sharp knife. We're going to start cutting him. And Todd goes, please stop cutting me. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you're being fucking sliced open, you're going to be... <laughs> Flailing and struggling and screaming, not you're not gonna go. Please stop cutting me. Unless it's a movie we're supposed to laugh at. Yes. So make up your fucking mind, director. Yes. But the the the, the worst. I apologize if I look like I'm tired. If I look this like I'm about to fall asleep. It was fucking hard to get through. But this movies like this drain me. Yeah. They drain me. Yeah. Because I was like, dude, is this this movie felt. It was 99 minutes, apparently. <sighs> 99 minutes for this fucking shit. And I turned to you and I was like, dude, this feels like fucking three hours, man. Yeah. This feels yeah. like three hours, like end. Yeah. End already. Yeah. But the biggest crime of all that this movie did was you have a movie where you have a, think about this, that accidentally resurrect the succubus, right? Well, at least... See, that was the confusing part. And on IMDb, right up there, it says horror. That's all I'm going to say about Young that. adult audience horror. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, whatever. But <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, Sorry. no, this Sorry. is like young adult audience. What? It's R-rated. It's R-rated, right? Young adult. But it, I, what, 
Yeah, 18 plus. Yeah, young adult my ass. If I'm not yeah. sending my young adult children to look at... How many penises do we see in this? <laughs> he saw a lot of penises. Yeah. A lot of penises. <laughs> a lot of penises. Lot, there's a lot of boobies too, but mostly from two... <sighs> there was uh, more whatever. penises than there were boobs. If you're watching this thinking you're going to get some actual porn action, you're going to be disappointed. No, no, no but sense. here's the biggest crime, despite being boring and and not finding the perfect tone to keep the audience interested, right? The biggest crime was you have a movie where you have this succubus supposedly going around and, and, and supposedly, we thought, was going to start killing motherfuckers. You would think. Right. Here's the biggest crime this movie had. Five, we have five, five <laughs> young adults in this movie, in this horror movie. Locked into the theater, trapped, trapped. in the theater with the sucker. Five. Get out. Guess what, guys? All five live by the end of the movie. Apples, huh? By the end of the movie, all five live. And the very, the only death, well, the first death... That we did get because the older guy who won, who's trying to physically manifest the succubus, he he killed himself just so she could come out of his body. Was some there was some there was some decent practical effects. That was okay. Here and yeah, there. that that was yeah. it. Could have been a little better because yeah. he she was coming out and yeah. he was standing up, and then all of a sudden it cut to another shot. He was already on the ground. And right. It, so we never saw him collapse or anything like that. It was just from here, yeah. her coming out, and then him on the ground. It was okay. So, but, but what we did see with the arms coming out and stuff, not bad. Yeah, not, not bad. bad. Not, not bad, bad effects, bad. yeah. Yeah. But he, but here's the here's the thing. <laughs> their, their boss, which was very odd because it was like, a religious movie theater? Like there. a Christian themed yeah. movie theater? They had to pray together at the beginning of the movie <laughs> that they were going to have a good yeah. day at work. And their yeah. boss seemed like you said, like kind of an evangelist type boss, how yeah. he would talk to them and Very all that. much like that yeah. uh, the guy down in uh, Houston who wouldn't let people go in his theater when the hurricane came. I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, he, you find out later that he's a perv and he's been filming people in a restroom and all that stuff, right? Again, is this funny? Or serious? Yeah. What do you, what do you, what's the tone here? Yeah. Well, when that guy finally dies, their boss. We checked. I stopped the movie. We checked the time. The first death. This is the, the first, first first death. Death in this movie happened after an hour. Over one hour. It was over six beyond sixty minutes. Not like fifty eight, fifty nine. It was after sixty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're going to wait that long for your first kill, the movie better be damn good. Oh, yeah. There, there better be some suspense oh, yeah. or really funny. There better be stuff to fill that gap yeah. until you get your first kill. But when you're this, bored, you don't care about the characters, you're kind of chuckling at a few things here and there, but it's yeah. not really that funny. Yeah. And it's not really that scary. It's just it doesn't know what it wants to be. And you're fucking bored and checked out. You mean to tell me after a fucking hour goes by, we finally get our first kill? An entire hour. Yeah. And your five fucking young adult audience bullshit movie. And I think you Seriously. Really, you really nailed the head on a point here. And that's, it's characters we don't care about. Yeah. When you watch a movie, the filmmaker needs to identify to you, whether it's verbally, whether it's just through action yeah. or whatever, who you want to root for and why. Who you identify with, why At you're least watching one the of movie. Them somebody, the somebody, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they didn't do that. Rather than that, we just walked around looking you know, yeah. we're like, oh, let's, oh, there's a, oh, there's a secret door. Let's go down here and walk around for a long time. And look, we never got to know the characters. I mean, we got to know a little tiny bit. Like we, they told us, oh, this guy's gay. You know, right. uh, they told us this guy. They well, the, the gay guy's a jock. Um, and uh, the one guy, the girl, is like, the girl assistant manager likes the gay guy, but she can't have him because he's gay. Yeah, and they have the two friends. The two best friends, and then you have the one uh, college dropout guy. Yeah, who's like yeah. probably been molested by the. But you don't like any manager. of these characters, though. That's no, the there's point. no, there's it's nothing like, to identify with them. Yeah, you don't. You're not rooting all. for them. Yeah, no. You're rooting for them only to die. And and that's and that's, none of them really fucking die. Yeah, all five live. 
It makes it really tough. If you're if unacceptable, you're, if you're rooting for somebody or you're worried about them, you know, we're sitting here going, kill this fucker. You know, do something. Give us blood. We don't give a fuck who dies. Good guys, yeah. bad guys. Kill somebody. Just fucking kill somebody. Kill yes. You know, like or or how about this? Something happened. Something happened. Oh. Somebody gets trapped. You know, they all get trapped. They got to figure out how to get. You know, whatever. Some fucking thing. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But then no, over an hour, like an hour and ten minutes into the movie, <sighs> she's reading the book. Yeah. Uh, I, which we an hour and ten minutes they identify. What the the evil entity the, the walking around was, yeah, yeah, was. Yeah. an hour and ten minutes yeah. into the fucking movie, you're telling us what the bad guy is, yeah. like, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, the positive parts for us is the succubus was well equipped, right? We don't, you know, yeah. had some nice bloops. That's fine, but the thing is, is really though, the entity itself did fucking nothing. No. So she sucked on Todd's finger. Sucked on a finger. Right? And, and then, ripped off the manager's dick. <laughs> she sucked on his finger, and then that was it. That was Nothing it. happened after that. Yeah. She we, changed we into... He was going to die after right, that. She changed into uh, the jock to kiss the girl. Yeah. And nothing happened after that. Nothing is happening in this movie. That's yeah, acting no, like exactly. a lot of stuff's think, happening. So, so you would think she would, you know, change her identity, do her shape-shifting yeah. or whatever look like the jock to right. kiss the girl, kiss the assistant manager yeah. girl. Yeah. And then you would think maybe while they were kissing, she would suck the life out of her or bite her tongue off or, you know, whatever. It's, yeah. a, it's called porno. So do something, yeah. kill her in a sexual fashion. Right, right. And even the nope. video they watch, the porno, there's no porn in it. No, it was there's just weird, uh, like... Different colors, like, in front of a naked chick. And then halfway through the movie, we go back to it. And it's yeah. weird colors in yeah. front of a naked chick. All of a sudden, the naked chick comes, cuts to a dude. It was just... And we zoom really close in on this guy's flaccid penis and balls. Which I think was supposed to be funny because we laughed. We laughed our asses off at it because it was it offended us. Like, we're like... Like, it's like one of those... Like, you're, you, like you don't want to see... Like, you like... It, like, you ever see a movie where they show in the toilet and there's actually a dookie in there? Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. want to see that. I don't want to see I don't want to see a penis. Well, I don't need to they see threw, that. They threw stuff in there for the ladies, I guess. Anyway, uh, but anyway, I'm fucking tired. I'm tired, yeah, man. I'm, yeah, no, this movie wore us out. Hey, it the really succubus did. did its job. <laughs> Suck the life right the fuck out But of just us. like they're... This yeah. was one of these movies where I call a tweaker, where we're watching it every scene, and we're like, "Just, just do this; it'd be better." Say, cut yeah. this. It just, yeah. Take that out. Yeah. Don't say that. Like, it's one of those well, where it, I mean, if if they would have just picked, are we going comedy or are we going serious? Yeah. Do that. Tucker and, and Dale versus Evil. This needs to be. Yeah. Yes. You know, no. It really popcorn. needed to be funny. Yeah. Like this ripped off popcorn in a really way. It really ripped off popcorn, yeah. and it really and it and it really ripped off Midnight Movie as well. Right. So, which uh, are better movies? Than oh, this. they're both fucking wonderful movies. Yeah. This no, but if they would have it, from ninety nine minutes down to get it down to seventy, so you wanted to be a feature length film, at least cut thirty fucking minutes off and make it a seventy minute film. Yeah. And and then pick a line. Go yes. go serious, go comedy, one way or the other. <laughs> and you might have something here. Yeah. So, director, take this pile of shit, go back to the <laughs> editing board, figure out what, what you're going to do. you got some pickup shots to film, but you could fix this. You could fix this. Just, but When you bring in the succubus, and she, you're supposed to use their desires against them, there was just no imagination, nothing. Like... She pulled. She pulled out two cigarettes for the for the one guy, the yeah. college dropout that quit smoking, quit smoking, right? But then his nuts just blew up. Like that was yeah. it. Like yeah. it was. It was just like that's what the whole film was like. Let's cut off dicks and, and or talk up, about cut off dicks and blow up nuts, and blow up nuts. Or, or crush them. And then that was, and then Todd's friend, they were staring at a, a random couple that was fucking in the beginning oh, yeah. of the movie. I guess there's your porno. Yeah. Right at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Well, he looks through a, a, a glory hole later in the movie. Yeah, somehow. He looks in there, there, and the succubus 
on the other side is is showing him an image of the, of the exact same fucking couple that yeah. were fucking in the beginning yeah. of the movie. Yeah. And then she comes out and barfs on him. I was like, where was the imagination? Like, have him go in there and maybe be a whole bunch of chicks or something yeah. to try to turn him on or seduce him. Yeah. And but no, was it was so lazy. We just got, like, hey, you know, we can't pay... I guess we can't pay for any other extra actors to be in this. Well, it's like, so okay. let's just reuse the couple from the beginning of the movie. She's barfing at him. But, like, what is the significance of that? Like, Prince of Darkness. Bagool, we understand. Scare, we understand the evil is coming right. out in the Prince of Darkness. Right. This, what is this? What was the significance? Just to gross him out? Like, barfing? Like, it just, it made no sense. Here's one thing, you know, that you obviously know about the writer. Whoever wrote this film did not do their homework. Yeah. And they probably wrote it and just said, all right, I'm good. And didn't have, uh, you know, editors or anybody else. They didn't bounce it off anybody. Yeah. Because this, there were so yeah. many flaws with the script that, you know, to any experienced writer would be like, oh, no, it's fucking, it doesn't make yeah. any fucking sense. Yeah. So... The sucky bus, problems. Sucky bus problems. did nothing. Yeah. Do yourselves a favor. <laughs> do yourselves a favor. Consider this a favor to you. I didn't even want to do this video. Don't do it. <laughs> I, don't I, do I was it. this close to saying no. We, we I didn't even want to. Re- yeah, he convinced me. We had me to. Because. So that you know to save Don't your bother. Time and yeah. don't, don't. Don't bother. It, no. Watch popcorn, which is a lot of fun. Or watch a real watch. porno. There you go. Watch a real porno. <laughs> <laughs> Go find some real porn. <laughs> it's out For there. free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this. Oh, you know, I feel so, I feel sorry for everybody involved. It looks like they wanted to make a fun movie, but it was just yeah, you know, nothing is um, happening. Too much dialogue. None of these actors just, blew me out of the water, but they were solid. Yeah, they they delivered, but yeah. none of them were like really impressive. But I put that on the director because mm. it, you can have the greatest actor in the world, yeah. but if they have a shit director and they don't know what they're supposed yeah. to do or the the message they're conveying because the director hasn't given them direction, yeah. then they're they're just kind of flopping in the wind. And I, I kind of feel like that happened here. Probably, yeah, yeah. Shame on this director. <sighs> Man, that was rough. It was. Let's uh, watch we, Razorback. Ra- oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, give it rating and end this oh, fucker well, so we I, don't bore them as I, much as I, we were. I right? uh, totally forgot we're supposed to rate yeah, yeah, we You didn't. go first. Uh, I'm going to give this, because I laughed three times, <laughs> I'll give it a 1.5. You're going to give it a 1.5. And that point five is for boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be politically correct on camera here and say because I laughed three times. But really, I mean, like, you, okay, there are... F- Things that you factor in. If you have horror movies, yeah. think about there's things you expect oh. in horror movies. If it's called porno, yeah, yeah, yeah. there should be nudity, <sighs> things like that. Yeah. So they gave us a little bit of that so you get credit for that. Everything else was dog shit so you don't get credit for that. So one is like, no, never again, worst movie ever. I could, and, I know, could, I could go close to a two, but then why bother? I'm just fucking teasing the fucking bullshit. If I go 1.9. Yeah. So you know what? I fuck just, it. I, I fuck don't it. have you know any what? other reason to give it you anything know what? better. I'm going 1.5. All right. Just like there you. it is. Fuck it, man. Don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Take our Don't advice. waste your time. You, you, know, you know a movie's bad when they go to another dimension, which is supposedly hell, and nothing happens. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, fuck this movie. Fuck this movie. All right. Yeah, if you've seen Porno, right. let me know in the comments yeah. below what you guys thought about it. Yeah, and are I, we wrong? That is, if anybody has a I different pe- outlook on I this, I'm curious. I see people liking it. I okay. see for okay. some reason, yeah. I see people liking it, but when we're, when we're like in. What type of drugs did they take before <laughs> they watched it? That's what I want to know. <laughs> do we miss do we miss the mark here? Were we supposed to... Watch this with a little uh, happy juice or something. Bored and annoyed. Very much. Not a good combination. (laughs) No, very much. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Keep watching horror movies, except this one. Take care. (laughs)